there. Today I'm going to do my team project pan update and this was created from the girls from Beauty News. So Kirsten and Hayley and I will have their links down below so that you can go and check them out. And also it's under the hashtag, hashtag team project pan. So if you press that hashtag you will find lots of other people who are doing this project also. So it's a year-long project and the idea is that it's a full face and you roll things in and out as you want to. Um, you can roll things in and out seasonally. I've just been rolling them in and out as I want to or as I finish something up. And because it's getting, there's only like three months to go, I have been multitasking my eye palette stuff. So there are some things I don't have now for a full face. But that's okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to get started. And so the first thing I've got in my project is a primer. So I've got the Paula's Face Primer from e.l.f. Which I have used 20 times this month. It's still going. I'd already used it 23 times last month. So still going. And um, you can't tell how much is in this bottle. And... As I've said before, I don't weigh them, so I will just keep using it until it stops working. <laughs> and I've got an empty, so I used up my Body Shop Mandarin Energizing Face Mist. So I usually put on my pore filling primer around these areas here, and then I spray my face with this to hydrate it before I put my foundation on, because I just find that my foundation is looks a lot better that way because I've got quite dry skin because I'm old. <laughs> it just it just looks smoother if I do it that way. So this one I used 5, 10, 15 times this month and then it was all gone. And so all together, let me just add up how often I use that. So I used this 115 times all together before it was all used up. So that's pretty good for a little bottle, I think. And then um, I had to changed my product halfway through and I am now using the Coco Calming one which I have used before and really like and so so far in September I have used this one six times. So last month I switched to a different foundation because I had run out of the other one and so this is the um, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow and I thought I was up to about here. I can't see in this bottle so it is a bit of a guess but I have used a lot of it because I think I'm way down to here now because it feels very light <laughs> now. So I used that 5, 10, 15, 20 times over September and um, I don't think it's going to last for the rest of the month but these things can fool me sometimes, so I'm not really sure. And for my concealer, now I predicted last month that my LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealers, that I would use up the slightly darker one, and I was would be pretty close with this one. These are the concealers that never end. <laughs> I feel. I'm still using this one. I can see daylight through the bottle. There's still stuff in there. I couldn't measure it anymore because when I when I get stuff out, I, I can't actually push any out. Well, so it calls me a liar because now it's pushing out. But usually I have to roll up the bottle to get any out because it just it won't come out. So I have to roll it up and then squeeze it like this to get any out. I just threw away. Um, yeah, so they, they just keep going and going so I'm just going to carry on with them. So I've used them both the same amount of time in September and I use them 5, 10, 15, 20 times each and I suspect that the reason why they just keep going and going is because I don't use too very much. Like the darker one I use kind of around here or or any spot concealing and the lighter one I use under my eyes but I only use a little bit because if I use too much concealer under my eyes and that it just accentuates lines and things so this is on their nine month plus <laughs> and it's still going 
<laughs> so, um, really good value for money. If you like this concealer, really good value for money because <laughs> it, it lasts forever. So, those are done. Well, those aren't done. I'm still going. I'm still, I still will be using them. <laughs> and last month I ran out of my other setting spray, so I put this one in and I was up to here. And now I am up to here. So I've used quite a lot of this setting spray and I have used it 5, 10, 15, 20, 22 times in September. And I know it's up to there because if you actually hold this bottle up to the light, you can actually see where it's up to. So I'm not guessing for this one. <laughs> So for my face palette, I have been using the face powder for just carving out my contour and the contour. That's the only thing I've been using out of here. So this is looking like this now and I will put a picture up so that you can see what it was looking like last month. And so in September I used the bronzer, no not the bronzer, sorry, because I finished the bronzer, oh, I must have finished the bronzer during the month, I don't know what happened to September, it just disappeared really fast and I can't remember what happened anymore, so I finished all the bronzer and I used the bronzer 10 times before it was all gone and so all in all I used that 76 times before there was none left. The contour I have used 5, 10, 12 times this month because I was using something else first before I finished that off. And for the face powder I used it 5, 10, 15, 14 times this month. And there's a nice big dip in there now. So doing pretty well with that. I'm happy with my progress with that. And I'll just carry on using that. I'm not using the blush or the highlighter because um, the blush has dried out so much there's just no pigment in it and the highlighter is so subtle that I can't even see it and it's a little bit dark so there's, I'm not going to bother with those. My cream eyeshadow, my Maybelline one, my colour tattoo and Billy Brandridge. I have um, made no, absolutely no progress. I haven't used it at all. So that's looking exactly the same as it was last time. Because <laughs> so I didn't use it. <laughs> so, lesson learned. I'm not going to be... Don't buy too many cream eyeshadows, Laura, because you don't use them very often. <laughs> and the other thing that I've hardly used... I have actually used this three times, which is my designer brand's um, glitter liner. But... It's still got a little bit in the bottom, which I can't get out, even though I've taken the stopper out. So I, I have trouble getting stuff on the brush now. It's still really pretty. And I, it still works when you can get the product out. I suppose I could try and scrape it out with something really skinny. But I actually really like this little brush. So when I'm using, say, something like the Wet n Wild one that comes with a big doe foot and I want to do a gold liner I use the brush <laughs> I'm still using it even if it's not quite using the product so there's a tiny tiny bit down the bottom that the brush doesn't reach and I can't get it out so in theory it's probably finished but I still keep using it because I like the brush see, see now I've sort of hunted it put it around a bit, there is some on the brush. It's very, it's a very subtle liner anyway, so you can hardly see it in any case. And you can't see it on my hand because I've swatched it in a really weird place. But I only used it three times, so. <laughs> so mascara, my Wet n Wild, now what is it called? Again, I can't remember. It's the it's the one with the fibers. It's got one step one, step two is the little fibers, and then you put this back on for step three. And um, I use that five, ten, fifteen, nineteen times. 
over the last month and then I did start using some other stuff it's getting a little bit clumpy I've got it on my lashes today and it doesn't look too bad but it is getting a little bit clumpy and it is four months old now so I'm going to roll this one out and get rid of it because I've had it open and using it long enough I feel now so I'm going to switch to my Max Factor Masterpiece Max High Volume and Definition Mascara which I have started using this month and um, so I'm going to use this this is just a little deluxe sample that I got so I'm going to throw these ones out and start using this one and see what I think of it I'm not sure I'm on the fence because as I said I have used it a couple of times already um, you have to build it up quite a lot to get any definition in my lashes because I've only got small lashes my Rimmel my <laughs> Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Colour in Be My Baby still going never ending lip colour as well I am really scraping out the bottle Let's see if you can here I'll put the thing back in <laughs> you can definitely see daylight all around it there's a little bit of product down the bottom but um, I can't actually get that brush out so I'm scraping the sides to get anything out and there isn't a lot coming out it's starting to get dry so I'm going to predict I am going to finish it in October <laughs> I didn't wear it as often I only wore it 10 times last month I was wearing other things so and same with my gloss it's still going there's hardly anything left you can see all the you can see right through it there's a little bit at the bottom I've started storing it up this way so that that bit down the bottom will kind of shift down and I can get it out because I'm just sort of scraping the sides now but I'm still getting stuff out but I'm gonna predict that I'm gonna finish this in October <laughs> and I have used that 5, 10, 15, 20 times because I put that on before I start my makeup just to sort of moisturize my lips a bit and then when I've finished putting my makeup on I take it off and put my lipstick on so I, I'm going to predict that I'm going to finish that I, I keep saying I'm going to finish stuff and then they just keep going <laughs> and I used my powder so I use these two together so I've got the pressed powder from Maybelline, the Fit Me one in Classic Ivory and I've got the Revolution lace one which the writing's all wearing off, the baking powder in lace and I've actually hit pan on this one and I used this one five, ten, fifteen, twenty times and I used this one 5, 10, 15, <laughs> 17 times oh dear and um, I was up to there and now I'm up to there so this goes down really fast if you like this powder this is another one that's really good value for money because I've been using that for ages and for fragrance I was using the Body Shop Early Harvest Raspberry Softening Body Butter there wasn't that much left in there and you won't be surprised that I had actually used that up <laughs> but I've still got plenty of the fragrance left so I was I think I was up to about there last time uh, yeah, here I marked it on this side I couldn't find where I marked it <laughs> so I was up to there and now I'm up to here I, I do really like the scent it's it's a nice sweet fruity kind of scent it's, it does remind me of raspberries but more like a raspberry scent than a fresh raspberry but it has got quite a fresh kind of scent to it I like it anyway it didn't make any sense that description <laughs> and then palettes now I haven't used my palettes as much this month because um, I've 
been doing tons of collabs and things and that means I've had to use different products in that. So I haven't been using my palettes as much, but I have used them. And to the eyeshadow palette, the Beauty 101 from Profusion, I have used 5, 10, 13 times. But I often was using one of the browns for my eyebrows. That's what I mean by being multitasking. And I did hit pan on that today. So this one here I hit pan on. And I was working on these two colours. And I didn't use them up, but I got pretty close with this one, but there's still some around the edges. And I expanded the pen on this one. And I don't know that, that there's a lot of other progress in this palette to show you. But that's where I'm at. Will I finish this by the end of the year? No, <laughs> I won't. And same with this one. Will I finish this one by the end of the year? No, I won't. <laughs> and this one, I finished off this color here, which was the one I was using for my contour. So that was gown. So that's all gone. And I've been using this one a little bit. I've been using these kind of ones as blushes a few times, but I, I really haven't used this one hardly at all. I've only used it 5, 10, 11 times this month. So not a lot of progress because I haven't used it a lot. And that is my team project pan update for September. So if you have got a project pan going, then let me know. And I would love to come and see your progress because I, I especially love seeing people using up their eyeshadow palettes. I think it's amazing that people can do that. <laughs> I'm making progress, but I'm not going to be finishing them. I can tell, tell you that much. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.